Welcome to another edition of Ask Holly with our pros who know. This is Holly Sammons, yeah. the CEO and president of the Better Business Bureau. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk travel insurance yeah. today. And when I hear the words travel insurance, I don't know if I'm like most consumers, but my eyes glaze over a little bit and I think, yeah. I don't think I need that. But I've been in situations before where I've thought, that would have come in handy. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing is I took a trip a couple of years ago um, that for me was a big deal. It was, you know, I I went abroad and there were a lot of moving parts. There were several um, airlines involved. There were several different um, hotel stays and there were just a a lot of moving parts and pieces. You know, obviously, um, you know, running uh, an organization, I have a responsibility there. I have a young child. So I just felt like there were a lot of moving parts and so uh, that was when I first personally looked into travel insurance and did decide to purchase travel insurance uh, because what was important to me was if at the last minute my luggage was lost you know what happens because I had so many legs of the trip yes I felt like you know I think it's one thing if you're taking a direct flight right but if you have several legs of your trip both there and coming back I feel you know obviously your odds are better that something could happen and so you want to I personally looked for a policy that included uh, what happens if my luggage is lost Uh, you, you have to pay attention to what's important to you If there's someone in your family who is ill, um, you know, if you are uh, waiting on a child to be born, maybe your your grandparents and you're waiting for a baby to be born and you're just not sure, but you think, you know, let's go ahead and take that trip. We should be able to make it in time. If it's a risk that you're not willing to take, travel insurance could be a good option for you. You just want to make sure that the type of travel insurance that you look at really meets your needs because they don't all cover the same things. Yeah, that's what I was going to say because I know it's usually offered when I purchase a plane ticket uh-huh. or I purchase, um, obviously, car insurance is a different thing because uh-huh. you know there's different coverage that maybe even your credit card company provides. That's right. Yeah, so, and even your homeowner's insurance, your renter's insurance, your credit card may provide coverages, your auto policy may provide coverages. So there are a lot of things that may already be available to you. Um, And so again, getting back to what's important to you about travel insurance, uh, you really want to pay attention to what coverages do I already have in place. Um, There's no need, obviously, to buy duplicate coverage you're just wasting your money Uh, but you want to make sure that you've looked at those policies to see what's already covered if for example what's important to you is emergency medical assistance let's say you're traveling with someone who has uh, a medical condition and you think to yourself you know things are fine now everything should be fine but what happens if we get to a foreign country and we need medical assistance what will this policy do for me will it get me back to the states how will it transport me back to the states what type of coverage limits do i have things like that again making sure that what's important to you that that is covered in the specific policy um, that you take. And it's really for your own protection, especially like you mentioned, if you're traveling to a foreign country, they may not necessarily accept your medical insurance that you have in the United States. Right. And if it's important to you also to be brought back to the United States to be treated um, or, Mm -hmm. you know, brought back to your home country, uh, you want to make sure that the the insurance or the coverage that you have provides for that. You also want to make sure that there are uh, if there are cancellations or delays, uh, if that's something you're worried about, if maybe you're traveling to an area of the world or the country that experiences frequent delays or cancellations, um, if that is going to completely ruin your trip and derail your plans, travel insurance may be a good fit for you. Um, when to purchase travel insurance? If you know you have a big trip coming up and you've invested a significant amount of money, look at it like an, you know, the insurance plan that it really is yeah. or the insurance uh, to protect your investment. But, you know, should you purchase the insurance when booking a flight or booking a hotel? Not necessarily. You, you certainly, as a consumer, can shop around for the insurance that meets your needs uh, best. You don't have to uh, purchase it at the time that you're purchasing your tickets. There are some well-known brands and travel insurance that are always available online. You can purchase these 
policies basically 24-7 uh, via the web. And you really want to make sure, though, that you allow yourself time to research because you want to make sure that you tr choose a travel insurance company that uh, obviously has a good reputation. Uh, you want to check on their rating, check on their complaints, customer reviews, uh, look to see what experiences other consumers have had. You know, if you're worried about um, replacing the, the value of your lost luggage while you're on a trip, you want to make sure that the insurance you purchase is going to pay quickly. Because if my insurance is, or if my luggage is lost, and I am not reimbursed for six weeks later, that does, that does me no good on vacation. You're out of pocket already. Right. And also this just gives you that little peace of mind, doesn't it, to help you enjoy your vacation. Yeah. Is travel insurance expensive? It doesn't have to be. A lot of times it has uh, a lot to do with the price tag of the vacation and the limits or the amount of coverage that you're purchasing. So depending on what types of things you want to protect against um, or what the cash value of your trip is, uh, those may influence the, the price tag of insurance. But what made the decision for me was um, this was a vacation that was going to cost a significant amount of money. I wasn't willing to uh, put that money on the line or risk that entire um, you know, pot of money. Uh, I'd saved that for this trip specifically. So I purchased an insurance policy to, to protect me so that if something did happen, uh, you know, all that money wasn't lost. And so on your vacation personally, have Having used travel insurance or purchased it, how did everything go for you? I didn't need it. But you know, isn't that what insurance is for? We have sure. health insurance, we have car insurance, and you kind of hope to never need it, but you have it just in case. And so it gave me peace of mind. It, it helped me plan my trip and travel with confidence. I didn't end up needing it. But sometimes that's, that's kind of the best case scenario. You know that you probably enjoyed your trip. But if I had needed it, I was glad to know that it was there. So I suppose you guys have some really great recommendations for consumers on the subject of travel insurance. Where can they find you and do you have some resources online? Yeah, so consumers can go to bbb.org and they can either search um, by you know the, the industry wide, so travel insurance, or they can search for a specific company. So if they have, let's say, a list of companies that they're considering or one specifically, they can search for that company's uh, profile online, look to see what they're complaints are, what's their rating, um, what, you know, do they respond, what tone do they respond with, um, what do they respond to their customer reviews, what do the customer reviews have to say. A lot of times that can give you clues into the type of experience you may also have. So we definitely recommend that, that you look. If it's important to you that the business be an accredited business, which gives you the protection of knowing that the business must respond to your complaint, they've agreed to a higher standard of customer service, if you will, uh, then obviously that's available too. But do your homework. If you're going the extra step of protecting yourself mm -hmm. and protecting your vacation, take that one extra step to allow yourself time to research. That's the reason why purchasing travel insurance when you're booking your flight or booking your hotel may not always be the best choice because you're not always offering yourself enough time to do research on the insurance provider if you're having to make the decision at checkout. Yeah, so don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself because you want to make sure that, again, you're not doubling up on coverage and that you're getting what you need. If you're worried about a health condition, you know, worrying about lost luggage doesn't help you. So you want to make sure that you're getting the coverage you need and that it fits, you know, your specific situation. She's got some great tips, you guys. If you have any questions, for Miss Holly Salmons, yeah. you can also email her. Yeah, at askholly at wkmg.com. You can always find us at bbb.org. I am the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau here in Central Florida. But certainly, if you uh, need a Better Business Bureau or need questions answered uh, for really anywhere across North America, we're also here to help you with that as well. Yep, she's an expert, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, and I know thanks. you'll have some good stuff for us again next time yeah. on Ask Holly.